Several weeks after the president first expressed his intention to revoke the visiting forces agreement, Malacanang finally announced that the United States has already been given official notice of its termination. Marcel Hariri with the story. President Rodrigo Duterte says U.S. President Donald Trump himself tried to save the visiting forces agreement, but the chief executive said he has had enough. See Trump, but the others are trying to save the visiting for his agreement. Sabi ko ayaw ko. One is that napakabastos ng Amerikano. Talagang sobrang bastos. The president said the United States has insulted our sovereignty when it threatened to cut their aid and ban Philippine officials from entering the U.S. over the alleged illegal detention of Senator Laila de Lima. A rug where you wipe the s*** of the dog kung naka tapa ka ng mabaho. Uh, Americano, you know. sumubra eh. He even questioned the White House's agenda for bringing in unaccounted arms and weapons to the country. Walang accounting if there are already nuclear arms inside the Philippines brought in by the Americans. On Tuesday afternoon, Foreign Affairs Secretary Teddy Boyloxin confirmed that the DFA had already sent the VFA's notice of termination to the U.S. Embassy. Malacanang said there is no need for the U.S. government's concurrence on the notice, which will automatically take effect 180 days upon receipt. But in a teleconference interview, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Clark Cooper said there will be a strategic meeting between the Philippines and U.S. about the VFA next month. Of all the engagements, all the freedom of navigation operations, all the exercises, all the joint training, having U.S. military personnel in port on the ground, on the flight line, does require uh, that we have a mechanism that, that allows that. That's why the DFA is so important. But for Malacanang, it's a little bit too late. Well, that has been overrun by the fact of sending of the notice of termination. Despite this, the presidential spokesman said the relationship between the two countries continues to be warm. For News 5, Marisol Halili, we are One News.